Hello. We're here to talk about, first and foremost, in today's extraordinarily stressful environment. What does everybody need to do to mitigate and moderate the effects of stress? So first and foremost, what helps you uh, feel better, calm down, uh, and also at the same time, uh, slow down aging because stress increases aging. Stress also increases your blood sugar, which um, when that happens, uh, that ages you because uh, it causes wrinkles more so. So first and foremost, what everybody needs to do for the rest of your lives is take in the priority list, number one, Vitamin D3, K2. K2, good for your bones. Uh, vitamin D, vitamin D um, is uh, anti-COVID. Uh, it's good for your thyroid. Anti-cancer helps to prevent cancer. Um, so forever, you need to take vitamin D. Vitamin D, the farther north you live, uh, the less vitamin D your body could make. Uh, sun causes skin cancer and aging, but vitamin D does nothing bad. Uh, it is a fat-soluble vitamin, so you have to do the right dose. Um, so vitamin D, 5,000 I use per day, 5,000 I use per day. You take one pill per day. The more active you are, the more cat on a hot tin roof you are, the more you burn the candle at every end, uh, you need to take more vitamin D, but start with 5,000 IUs a day. Ideally, you get a vitamin D blood level once a year at least, but anytime you have blood work, remind the doctor that you need a vitamin D blood level because you want it to be high normal. What they found with COVID and with cancer, the higher the vitamin D blood level within the normal range, the better it is. So vitamin D, number two, Magnesium, magnesium at bedtime. Number one is if you're constipated, it helps uh, get rid of it and prevent constipation. So for your skin, also for feeling better for your gut, because if you're not going to the bathroom every day, uh, that causes more stress on your body. Uh, so uh, magnesium, my magnesium 125 uh, doesn't cause diarrhea, but it helps you go to the bathroom. So magnesium, you take two pills a day, take them at bedtime. Uh, if you're monumentally stressed out, you're still not going to the bathroom, you can take two pills twice a day. Organic lavender oil. Organic lavender oil is incredibly soothing and calming. Uh, before you go to bed, put a little bit on your temples, put a little bit underneath your nose. I tell people to use organic lavender oil instead of deodorant. Deodorant, if it's got, if it's a de, if it's an antiperspirant, it's full of aluminum, absorbs. Aluminum's a heavy metal. Absolutely not good for you. Anything that has aluminum in it, and a lot of immunizations have aluminum in them. So you don't want to use an antiperspirant uh, or anything with aluminum in it. And so you put some organic lavender oil underneath your arms after you shower or you bathe. Uh, and it helps you be calmer. You can use it instead of perfume. Put a little bit in your ears, a little bit behind your ears. So organic lavender oil. Everybody should take probiotics. Probiotics help prevent you from getting food poisoning. Food we eat is not sterile. So uh, you wanna have a good microbiome, in other words, the good bacteria in your gut. Um, so it helps prevent the bad bacteria, uh, whether it be H. pylori, whether it be uh, any of the bad bacteria, E. coli, et cetera. Now, it won't necessarily 100% prevent, but it helps prevent. Um, and so uh, what I use, because what they found with probiotics is the ones that are just in the bottle degrade in the bottle. So now everything is nitrogen sealed to preserve. So from the minute uh, they take the probiotics and put them in the peel, uh, the peel, P-I-L-L, -L, uh, they are 
preserved in their strongest form. And so uh, optimized, that's what they're called, optimized probiotics. Um, and you start out for the first month by taking one a day, and then you go to one every other day because they're that strong. Stress. One of the biggest problems with stress is it exhausts our adrenal glands. Our adrenal glands sit on top of our kidneys. You wake up in the morning and you're exhausted. Uh, one of the major causes of hair loss is adrenal exhaustion. Stress exhausts your adrenals. And then secondarily, your thyroid gets low. So on the website are all the symptoms of low adrenals and low thyroid, which is under critical info, right? Critical info. Um, and uh, I have my second brain here with me. So uh, um, uh, adrenal, it's called adrenal LF. And it's really one of the strongest ones. It is the strongest one that's on the market today. Uh, there are other ones which are herbal. I find the herbals are not strong enough in today's world. And the herbals are like ashwagandha, holy basil, rhodiola. But the adrenal life force, adrenal LF, um, is a stronger one. Take two in the morning and you'll notice your energy is more balanced. Your energy is better. You feel better about getting up out of the bed in the morning. You just don't want to pull the covers up and not get up. If your hair starts to fall out, um, a problem I'll probably never have, uh, it is, um, basically, although mine starts to fall out too, if I don't take my adrenal LF every day, um, uh, adrenal LF, you take two pills in the morning, start taking it with food. Uh, usually it doesn't bother anybody's stomach, but once in a blue moon, I have somebody who it does. So you take adrenal LF, two pills in the morning, take it with food. If it doesn't bother your stomach, try taking it on, in an empty stomach. It should be fine. Uh, people who are really stressed, they take two in the morning, one in the afternoon. And what you notice is you're not so exhausted. You don't feel like you would kill for a nap in the afternoon. Um, so uh, start with that. Uh, certainly, look, there are all sorts of things that I can tell you to take. Uh, the other thing, and this is also for slowing down the clock and for stress. When you're stressed out, just like if you're exercising like a lunatic and, you know, running the marathon all the time. And when you're stressed, you are running the marathon all the time, but you're doing it with your heart and your adrenals and your thyroid. And so what you also need is more antioxidants because part of what makes us age is lack of antioxidants. When you're more stressed, you start losing all your water-soluble vitamins. What's the most important one? Vitamin C. Now, I have on my website, because I'm all about more is better, alkalized C, which is 4,000 milligrams per teaspoon. You start out with a half a teaspoon a day. Uh, you put it in water. And then after a month, in the ideal world, um, uh, you go up to a teaspoon a day. But when you're young, when you're in your late teens, when you're early 20s, um, you can get away with a half a teaspoon a day. There's another one on my website, which is the natural form. It's called Camu Camu. It also has a non-sweetened raw, very special uh, cacao in there. Uh, it's 3,000 milligrams per teaspoon, per spoonful, and the spoon is in the container. So vitamin C. Now, anti-COVID, anti-stress, anti-aging. In the ideal world, would I love everybody to take glutathione? Yes. People have pigment issues, lightens your skin, anti-aging. So glutathione, uh, taking a half a teaspoon per day on the website is a liquid. Soon there's going to be a lozenge as well, 500 milligrams per um, uh, portion. And um, so if you do that, you can withstand the onslaughts of stress. Now, if you're so stressed out and you're working like a dog, um, then the other thing you lose in the vein of water-soluble vitamins is B vitamins. Um, B 
B vitamins, a lot of people take B vitamins when their hair starts to fall out. Uh, those are not usually, uh, the ad low adrenal is the more likely cause when you're all stressed out of losing your hair. Uh, but so methyl B complex, okay, but I've prioritized it there in the list of what's the most important. When you're younger, vitamin D, everybody of every age forever until you're dead, you need to be taking vitamin D forever. Uh, everybody needs to be taking uh, vitamin C. Uh, everybody needs to be taking magnesium for stress. And magnesium, your whole body loves magnesium. Everything loves magnesium. You've got to go to the bathroom every day as well. And that helps everything, but it also helps you sleep because sleep for stress is imperative. And because at night, sleep is when your body repairs, when your brain clears and cleans itself, when your skin repairs. So having you sleep is very important. Now, if you can't sleep despite uh, magnesium and despite adrenal LF, then uh, you have to look at melatonin. Um, if you have, if you dream a lot, then you probably don't need melatonin. Uh, so then you can look at 5-HTP. If you're depressed, as well as being stressed, you can look at 5-HTP, which increases your serotonin, which is your happiness hormone. So start with that. And um, uh, I'm the more is better person, the more antioxidants, the better but that's a really good place to start to make you feel better for stress. Thank you.